At first glance, these two images look identical, right? Now imagine having to manually spot the difference, not just here, but every other page on your app, in every browser, on every real device, and on every screen size. It's tedious, it's error prone, and it's slowing you down. In this video, we're gonna be showing you Browser Stack Percy, making visual testing effortless with smart automation, storybook integration, and a powerful dashboard that does the heavy lifting for you. Plus, we'll even explore a bonus tool that helps keep an eagle eye on your site even after release. Automating visual testing helps you improve your build quality, optimizing your release cycles, and more importantly, improving developer productivity. And this is where Browser Stack Percy comes to the rescue with its straightforward integration and a review dashboard to keep track of all the changes coming into your application. Percy integrates with your existing CI/CD pipelines and offers support for leading testing frameworks. You can integrate your visual tests with Percy with Browser Stack's proprietary SDKs. As part of this demo, let's go ahead and look at the Storybook integration. So you need to install the Percy SDK to get started. I'll quickly cover the steps. The first step is simply coming to the Percy dashboard and creating a project. Once you are in the app, click on the Go To app. As you can see, I already have a few projects here, but uh, let's start fresh. Click on Create Project and select whether it's going to be a web application or a mobile application. For this example, let's choose uh, let's choose web app. All right, let's give it a name relevant to the project name that you're working with. If you name it the same as the functional animation suites you're currently running, that's even better. The next step is baseline management selection. And this is really important. Teams who are more focused towards devs, for example, if you have a dev-centric team, generally, Browser Stack recommends going with Git for baseline management. And the reason they give for selecting Git would be generally developers work across Git branches already. So for any new feature development, create a branch, and the branch, the actual merge, would happen to its master branch. So the baseline that you would want to compare against is automatically selected based on the Git metadata. So Percy picks up the metadata and identifies what should be the correct baseline. And the baseline is what you would be comparing your newest version of the application against. So that's why Browser Stack recommends folks to use Git so that you can utilize the really helpful Git metadata. The second way is visually. It's more useful and easier to use, especially if your QAs at stats are using this and they tend to like a more linear visual testing flow, right? So you could select this, the visual Git, and ensures that the last approved build in Percy will be selected as your baseline for comparison. You can run your functional and visual test in parallel with Percy's deep integration with Automate. This integration leverages Browser Stack's wide browser coverage for your visual tests. It also helps you capture screenshots for dynamic scenarios like pop ups on Hover, etc. Let's select Automate for this demo. Great project. As you can see, the project is created. Check out the different setup guides. And you can also see the Percy token. Let's install the dependencies. Add Percy's capabilities to your test suite and install the dependencies by running the following command. So this command basically starts a Percy server that captures all the components, screenshots, and starts forwarding it to the Percy server and reflects on your dashboard. Now, if I go back to my dashboard on the Percy storybook, you can see that it is continuously polling the new changes from my project. And once it sees that, it'll stop pulling the dashboard builds 
right here. I also want to mention that they also support all the leading CI CD platforms. All right, so let's get back to our dashboard to see how our build looks like. Right, as you can see from the same update button, the pull request was generated from where Percy rendered it and started comparing it with their base branch or the main branch. It highlights the differences, and you can easily highlight them by clicking on them. You can view them across a variety of resolutions. For example, this is for the tablet width, this is for the mobile width of your application. Also, this is for Edge, Chrome, and even Safari. So far, there have been minor differences as I move from one browser to another. You also have support for real Android and real iOS devices for visual bug captures. You can also pass it up to 10 different resolutions manually that you can pass here while you're configuring your builds to run. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say you're in Storybooks. As you can see here, they also provide you a way to create a configuration file that helps you define Percy project properties. And one of these properties is width, as you can see here. And you can pass up to 10 different widths that you want a comparison to be done against just by configuring it all here. Okay, next, let's talk about Percy's smart grouping functionality. All right, let's say that specific changes in your application cause changes to the same space across all your pages. For example, if your logo was updated. Now the logo is generally going to be at the same location across hundreds of pages. You might think, oh no, I need to review 100 pages one by one. Nope, no worries. Percy will automatically and smartly group all the pages that have similar differences so that you can review them once and be done with it. And all the other pages that have a variety of differences so you can review them individually. Also, you could do snapshot approval directly from the Percy dashboard. So you can use Percy as a review tool. Right from here, you can easily approve or reject this snapshot. All right, now let's look at the manual diff ignore functionality. You see this option that allows you to simply add a box to any region that you want to be hidden. So in this section, these sales figures are dynamic and continuously changing daily. You could simply draw a box over it and across the builds. This would ignore changes to this region's sales figures and not show up as a visual bug. I can draw multiple boxes by clicking the plus button and saving them. So that's a manual way. You can also specify whether you want to do this only for this branch or across all branches. You can also highlight root and DOM differences that were highlighted as part of the pages. This makes debugging what exactly caused the difference in your UI very seamless. So the root DOM comparison feature understands the exact reason for the differences. For example, for all the pages and screen sections where you see a difference, like here, you can see differences in certain sections. You can simply ask Percy to highlight the reason for the difference. So here, it shows that the font color change from these values to this. And that's the reason why you're seeing a visual difference in your website. The same goes for this. You can copy the expats and quickly identify which component you need to work on fixing. All right, let's also check out network profiling. Browser Stack also supports many network profiling options, which you can adjust during runtime or during an ongoing session. So there's no network mode, airline mode support. You could simply set network profile to a profile of your choice. And you could put it in the middle of the test by simply passing this curl command or this REST API call in the middle of your test commands. Just fetch the session ID and pass the updated network command. It will update the running device conditions for you. If you want to look at the list of profiles, here are all the profiles that Browser Stack currently supports today, not just these predefined profiles. You can also simulate your own custom network profiles depending on your download and upload speeds. There is also an option called layout testing. This is cool because it will ignore any text-based component from your comparisons and only look at the layout 
of your page. Percy's layout testing focuses on validating the structure of your page's layout and ensures consistent element positioning. The visual comparison is executed by meticulously examining layout changes without verifying content alterations. They also have a Figma design comparison that allows you to directly compare your existing builds against your imported Figma designs without leaving the Percy dashboard. So let's see that in action. To compare your Figma designs with your Percy build, you'll need to follow these following steps. Step one is go to your project build and click the compare with designs icon. Next, make your Figma project public to allow access via a shared link. If the project must remain restricted, grant the view only access to percy.figma at browserstack.com. Wait for Percy to accept the Figma invite. This might take a few minutes. After waiting, check the invite status in Figma. If the invite has not been accepted, it will appear grayed out. Once you accept it, it will be displayed in regular text as Percy. Then click continue. Next is you want to enter the Figma link to import your designs. Enter a Percy branch name. You can select an existing branch name from the dropdown or create a new one. Next, click the Import Designs button. This should load your Figma designs. Select the desired Figma designs. By default, the system pre-selects the first 50 imported designs. Click Next. Next, you want to rename or map your design to a snapshot name for comparison. You can either select an existing snapshot name from the list or provide a new one. Optionally, you can also enable the Use Design Name as Snapshot Name checkbox to automatically map snapshots. If no snapshot name is provided, Percy defaults to using the design name as the snapshot name. So map the test name to your design, then click the Save and Run to complete the process. So a new build is triggered for the imported Figma designs. By default, the Figma build is auto-approved. The next time you trigger a build, the review page displays snapshots for comparison. I always say seeing is believing, so try it for yourself. Leverage Percy's visual engine powered by AI to iron out any visual differences and release pixel-perfect websites with ease. Check it out for yourself using the special link down below. Wait, is that it? I almost forgot to talk about the bonus tool that perfectly complements Browser Stack Percy. What is it? It's called Visual Scanner. It's a new feature in Percy that automatically scans specific URLs at scheduled intervals to spot visual defects. This allows you to stay ahead of any unexpected visual alterations and ensure your users are always experiencing your website as intended. So let's check this out. All right, for the Visual Scanner, all you need to do is come here and click on the new scan. You can also choose to do a manual upload where you can individually pass each URL you want Percy to pick up and identify. So for this example, let's say browserstack.com. But there's also a better way. You can use the sitemap option to enter your application's domain name. Press enter, and it will fetch the entire sitemap, all the pages that are part of your application. And then you can select the folder parts on which you want visual testing to be performed. These are generally more like pricing pages that should be part of your visual test documentation, your terms of conditions, things like that. So let's select these pages from here. You can also do individual selections. And once this is done, you can click on Create Scan. But before I do that, I want to show you a few more important options. There's also an option for web crawler. So some companies don't publicly expose all pages as part of their web crawlers or any part of their sitemaps. So Browser Stack provides that as an option as well, that you give them the domain name and they scroll through your application, identifying all the pages and URLs that are part of it. But what if you have different domains and environments that you also want to compare against? Let's say, for example, you want to compare your production against your staging. How do you do that? Would you need to run multiple scans? Heck no. All you need to do is give Percy staging.browserstack.com. Click apply. 
And for all the URLs that you've already selected for browserstack.com, it will also go to staging.browserstack forward slash live forward slash automate, and then start running the comparison between this and your alternate domain very quickly and easily. And then click on create scan and you're good to go. And you can see that my scan has already started running. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. But just quickly, I forgot to talk about one important point. There's also an option of scheduling scans at regular time intervals with never ending dates or a specific date. Even if these pages are not publicly hosted, BrowserStack has options for local testing in which you can then test on lower environments and staging environments. If pages are behind some sort of authentication, like form authentication, basic authentication, or multi-page authentication, all these are already supported out of the box. So you don't need any coding experience or knowledge. So let's go back to adding delays. We already spoke about how Percy can do this by making a few lines of changes in your test script. But there's also a UI way where you could define how many seconds after you want Percy to capture the screenshot. So this was all about Visual Scanner. Before I end it, I wanna show you one sample scan I ran on a page already. So it's showing up to 15 differences that it highlighted. Let me show you something that has been approved for builds as well. And you can see that Percy could identify differences in Google Gmail in just two minutes. So you can see this is an actual visual bug that Gmail has that Percy was able to capture. Percy also automatically shows you if there were no differences. And they don't highlight it for you since these pages don't have any differences. And as you can see, they showed as no visual change, which helps you save time by avoiding reviewing unnecessary information. You should definitely give it a try to ensure your websites are free from any visual bugs. And once again, you can find it all by checking out the special link in the description down below.